So one of the goals of this entire lab course is to get you to think about how to design your own experiments and develop your own procedures. That's part of the reason we keep all the experiments so simple is so that you can really critically think about all the different hundreds of choices that go in to designing an experiment. Okay, so in this experiment, you do need a little bit of background information. You probably remember from Physics 131 that the height from which you drop a ball is related to the time it takes to fall by h equals one half g, the gravitational field, times the time squared. Now, over the course of this experiment, you are going to have to drop your ball from multiple different heights. You will choose how many different heights, but you're going to have to drop it from multiple different heights. Okay, And thus, height is the variable we control. It's the independent variable. And time is the dependent variable. So we probably want to rearrange this equation so that time is isolated by itself. So let's rearrange it to say time is equal to the square root of 2h over g. So now we've got time, the dependent variable, isolated out by itself and written as a function of our independent variable, the height. Okay, so that's basically the model you're going to be working with. You're going to be taking your object and dropping it from multiple different heights and time how long it takes to hit the ground. Now you have to, like I said, figure out how many different heights to look at. Uh, we will guide you through figuring out how many drops to do at each height. That's part of this lab. And you'll have to think about other things like how are you going to measure the height? Where are you going to do the experiment? Because I will tell you that the gravitational field changes with location. It's dependent upon how much mass is underneath you. So if you're on top of a big chunk of bedrock, you'll get a different answer than if you're over, you know, sailing on the ocean. So you need to think about that. So use your TAs, have them help you develop your procedure. And remember, you're going to go back in the next lab and redo this experiment, thinking about the result you got and thinking about how you might improve this procedure. So just sort of keep that in the back of your mind as you develop your procedure that you're going to be refining it for the next lab. Good luck.